Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Hearts of Iron 4, where we are continuing the Kaiserreich campaign, campaign, campaign with the Netherlands. In the previous session, just an hour ago, we were fighting against the Germans, so we had prepared a justification against the Germans ourselves, and it was due to be triggered on the 20-somethingth of May? And then in the 10th of May, something like that, Germany decided to declare war on Panama. And I had since joined the Entente, we'd left the Reichspact, we had too many disagreements with the Germans. And that of course dragged me into the war, so we are fighting them and this is a defensive war instead of an offensive one. So the war support is more on our side. Um, meanwhile, what else is happening in the world? America is still fighting. The Pacific States of America are coming out as fairly clear victors from this particular conflict. They've got lots of factories, lots of manpower. CSA is running out very, very rapidly, and the AUS has run out already some time ago. Meanwhile, the Entente has just taken out Venezuela, Colombia, and Ecuador. I don't think they've divvied up those territories between them just yet. And then we are also at war with the Empire of Brazil. So I'm very much expecting my Entente allies to be busy in Brazil for some time longer. But once that has been won, I am hoping that they'll come over to the Netherlands to give me a hand. Because we are up against it. There are a lot of uh, bad guys over here. And we've been holding pretty carefully thus far. But we've also been taking a lot of damage, particularly for our equipment, although we've gone down from 10,000 short to 6,000 short. The main struggle that we have at the moment is convoys. We have a lot of convoys doing trade and lend-lease. We are building more, and we are also in the process of trying to build up our fleet because there are a couple of absolutely ruinous engagements early on, but we are building some advanced battleships to try and replace our losses. They are taking a little while to build, but the uh, bigger struggle here is A, we're using a lot of factories for repairs, B, we're using, oh, sorry, dockyards. We're using a lot of dockyards to replace the convoys. Well, not replace them, just build more. And C, uh, supplies are difficult because we are actually, oh no, we've actually got civilian factories, but we've been out of civilian factories for quite a long time. Over in East Asia, there is a lot of fighting going on. It's mostly Australasia versus Germany over in New Guinea. We have lost Borneo, but I think that's the only territory that we've actually lost. I am hoping that we can establish a naval invasion to go and get it back. We've been, oh no, sorry, to get uh, Malaysia. And then we can go for Borneo. They are actually almost ready to go. Do I want to risk this? Because there are still quite a few enemy ships in the area that could try and blockade us. Although we do have our own escorts nearby which could try to assist. We've got a 22% escort efficiency. Although you and you really need to go and repair. Let's do something like that. Low risk, that's fine. We have a couple of submarines deployed in Indonesia. We have even more submarines under the newly arrived Helfrich fighting against the Germans in the English Channel. And I think we're going to stop with the North Sea and we are instead going to go for the Eastern North Sea. In fact, no sod it, we'll do that too. And that as well. Oh, we can't. We're not. Well, apparently I can't go into the Eastern North Sea. I can only, sorry, the Northern Norwegian coast. I can only do these three. So be it. Okay. Uh, let's get ready to unpause this, although we do need to take a quick look at Brussels because Brussels is under heavy attack. Am I withdrawing you? Not yet. It should be. We do have reinforcements coming in. So do they, though. They are attacking me with 22 divisions against the seven defending. Have I set up the flooding? I can't. I didn't go the defensive doctrine. I went the mobile doctrine. Which theoretically is going to be the good decision because we are actually building mechanized now. We have a couple of them already established, but not nearly enough. 
not nearly as many as we actually need. The real struggle currently is to push out a lot of anti-tank because we're up against tanks and we don't have any real counter to that. So we do have the technology to actually build them now. For the first time we've got anti-tank ones and we are working on getting those upgraded as quickly as we can. But it is going to take some time. So can you back out as well. Move in. Meanwhile, ooh, Kroningen, also under heavy attack. Let's have you move in over there. Let's have you two come over into there as well. Hopefully you can hold. I'm glad I checked that. That would have been bad. You should arrive fairly soon. And there's no tanks attacking up here, so there's not as much pressure. And as soon as you join the battle itself, you should keep them in the fight for enough time for these two to arrive. Excellent. Okay, so the other thing that is going on, of course, is the air battle. We are massively outnumbering them now, actually, and we are shooting more of them down. We lost 104, they lost 136, so the scales are turning there. But I am noticing that we are almost out of fuel again, because my main supply, which was coming from Canada, has now been cut off. But I can get some more from the Pacific States, seeing as they own Texas. Because they released Venezuela. Or rather, the Caribbean Federation probably released Venezuela. No, it's a Canadian puppet. Colombia is a Canadian puppet and Ecuador is a French puppet. Which is a surprise, because I gave all of this land to the West Indies. I guess they didn't want to keep it. Fair choice. Sinking Brazilian convoys, that's good. The attack up here is still looking a little bit iffy. Do we have the reinforcements in? We do. But I think we want you two to pull back. And you to go in there. And I think I'm going to send in another. Meanwhile, Benelux. I want you to back off. I want you to go in. I want you to back off. I want you to go in. And then you can go here, and that should do. Thankfully, they are mostly attacking us in just those two positions. More guns? Yes, please. All right, we've probably got enough convoys to deal with any further shipments now. So I think we are going to build just one more convoy, and then we're going to return to production of battleships. And destroyers and submarines. And then suddenly we need to import a bunch of resources once more. Um, Ching? Or Australasia? Let's get them from Australasia so they can get some more factories up and running. And then also a little bit more chromium. Which we can actually easily get. And it's just steel. Steel, steel, steel. Finland. Let's get Sardinia. Let's get to Sicily's. Let's get India. Trying to boost up their economies by trading with them where we can. And then Ching. We're not allied to Ching. So this will actually make us run out of convoys. So maybe we do need some more. <laughs> Let's build a few more just for a little bit longer. That should do us. Meanwhile, the submarines are still kicking ass and taking names, which is good to see. Uh, taken. Oh no, they're just being repaired. Right, we're good. We're golden. Meanwhile, Kroningen still under heavy attack, so I think we're going to have you marching into there. You guys are all pretty well reinforced and quite strong. You guys are fine, you guys are fine. You can back off. You can back off. And 
those medium tanks are taking some serious damage now, so hopefully we're doing some damage to them. Ah, some more marines. Excellent. Which I would love to go and send over to Indonesia, but I don't think we can really afford to do that, so we'll just leave them here training. And we are going to need some more oil. Which uses up all of our convoys again. Do I build much stationary AA? No. Because the Netherlands has actually got really good aircraft, so I am hoping that we come ahead in the uh, AA battle. In the aircraft battle, the air battle. And we are outnumbering their fighters by 6,000 now. Uh, 600. Enemy fighters lost 156, our fighters lost 116. So we are beating them in the skies. One thing I would like to do is start adding AA to my units. Oh no, I decided not to do that. We're just going to keep focusing on the fighters. Never mind. It's mostly AT that I need. Oh, convoys again. Damn it. Let's do something like this, just so that the convoys still have somewhere to go. Because I really want to get these battleships done. Like, they're going to be kind of vital to me actually retaking the English Channel. Dealing with uh, German submarines, I can do. It's the surface fleet that I'm struggling with. When I win against the Reichspact, will I be annexing Wallonia and Luxembourg? I do believe I will be, yes. Queen's Day. Hip hip hurrah! And now we can do war support against Brazil. Um, I think I'm going to hold off for the time being, because we are at 98%, which is giving me really good defense on core territory, so we're, we're, we're fine. A little bit low. You two join in. You're a bit low. You both join. And then you go and fill that gap there. And we're short on convoys again. Should be able to build those up though. We built them pretty quickly. Our dockyard efficiency is pretty decent. Not that many dockyards are being used for repairs anymore. So we're slowly but surely clawing that back. Ace pilot. I haven't even looked at the ace pilots for a while. How many do we have? We have two. Right, and then the old carrier aircraft from the carrier that sank. Not much I can do about that. I mean, I could use those planes, but I don't think it's really worth it. They're old. Ancient, even. I guess the other thing that we could try to do is naval bombers. I mean, one thing that we have loads of is rubber, and aluminium's not that hard for me to acquire. Steel is where my problem is. How's Brussels doing? You guys are all fine. I need to keep on switching out the explosive guys and the uh, AT guys. Because the explosives have mechanized and the AT guys have AT. How are we doing for anti-tanks? We've got 14, so we are making a slight uh, positive surplus. But it is very, very pos uh, slight. Also, I think the uh, mechanized are now actually making... Yeah, they're definitely making a surplus. Support equipment, I think, will probably go down to three. Motorized, we've got a surplus. Okay, good. Meanwhile... Submarine sank six convoys before they could come to reinforce. Sank a bunch of... Oh, the French Navy is here. How on earth have they not been sunk yet? Convoys, convoys. These are all Brazilian. 
What on earth is Brazil trying to do over here? We're sinking billions of them. We have quite a few convoys. Not many ships. And Brazil is being blockaded by the Entente. And Entente forces are now flowing into Brazil through the various new entry points that they've made. Ah, and I'm getting Suriname back again. Thank you. The fall of Norleans. Pacific forces have been pushing towards the city of New Orleans for a while now. Reports are coming in the city is imminent capture by advancing troops. Huey Long's current whereabouts are unknown, but it's believed he was evacuated to the countryside. Is the AUS seriously going to die before the CSA? I believe they are. Considering how long the uh, CSA has been on the back foot, that's quite impressive. Where's the PSA's war against the CSA? It's not showing. Because the CSA has lost uh, 10 million. Probably 11 or 12 million by now, total. Yeah. It's going pretty, pretty well for the PSA. It's good to see. Especially because they're pro entente. Air troubleshooter. Have you back off. Let's have you back off. And that'll do for now. How are we doing for production? So we've got a surplus again, though I think I'm going to need to use that surplus of convoys to buy more oil. Let's do this. Because the last thing I want is to run out of oil, though so we are having to import an awful lot. So maybe the next thing I need to do is increase my oil efficiency. Also, Borneo, that's the source of my oil, isn't it? That's what we lost. Yep. So we've got the rubber plantation still, but the oil supplies have, are gone. Okay. You know what? I think what I'm going to do, because we don't seem to be losing very much, so I think I'm going to reduce where you guys are active in to just those two because the submarines are doing the rest and that's going to dramatically increase your efficiency 80 upgrade excellent let's go and research the next level 48 days cool I'm gearing up for the naval invasion See if we can take Singapore. Oh, Brussels is being hit really hard again. Let's send all of you in. Let's send you. And you. Like, we have really good defences, so it's not like we're easy to kick out of these places. But they are bringing in these medium tank divisions, which do pack a real punch. Oh, you're starting to struggle again. So let's cancel you. You guys marching in. Uh, you guys stay and fight for now. I just need to remember that I have to continue to switch between them all. Kingdom of Italy is justifying against Sardinia. Oh no, that means that we're going to be in a war against Austria. Ugh. In Kaiser, can Austria Hungary be reformed like in vanilla, or would Hungary just be a puppet? Yes, they can be reformed. These are my escorts facing off against the German escorts and winning. Which is quite impressive because these are my ancient ships. The really, really old ones. Anyway, once we've defeated them, I think that we're going to go for the crossing if we can. But I really need to keep an eye on this fight too. It would be bad if we lost this. Ooh. 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 Sneaky. Sneaky, I don't like that. Attacking places you haven't been attacking yet. I don't like that at all.
Three convoys. Nice. Okay then. You. Have a go. No? Don't fancy it? Oh, they still have... Wow. Yeah, serious superior superiority. Okay, never mind. Means I don't need to split my uh, attention. Good. Any of you need to withdraw, Carpal. Oops, not there. Because you need to keep on rotating these guys out so they can actually rest up and recover their organization. Because if they just stay in the battles permanently, you will eventually just lose. You always have to make sure that your people are actually in the battle, though. Otherwise, you're just abandoning the front. How's it looking for the Allies? Are they finally helping in Europe? <laughs> no. It does look like they're increasing the pressure on Brazil, but that's about it. How's Brazil actually looking for manpower and that type of thing? Ooh, wow. Brazil's strong. Not a huge number of factories, but masses of manpower. I'm really hoping once the PSA is won... Then we'll start seeing some American assistance. That would help. Hey, Fisher. Related congratulations on becoming a partner. Thank you. Appreciate that. in. How are we doing for mechanized? Slowly but surely. Getting more. Okay, we're up to 200 convoys. So I feel like we can go to the convoys and say, you can stop now. Build me one more of those. And that. And then let's get these built again. Okay, so destroyers and submarines are being churned out. We do need to worry about our imports again. So let's buy in some more steel from Ching. How are we doing for oil? Oil I think we're actually on top of now. That's my last factory again. Alright, how long until those battleships are done? Is it still January? Uh, these are slipped to February now. Okay. Might even need to try and research a higher level destroyer. Hey Atari, Fortress Netherlands holds. Yeah, they do, though it's tenuous. Great, Commandant. The biggest problem is the blockade. Ooh, wow, 122 German convoys. Go on, Elfrich. Show them th what fear really is. They have a 2% screen. Like, you can just be threading. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Shot straight through the center. Some more reinforcements. Some troops are on the way, but I think I want to send in a couple more too. Meanwhile, down here, everything seems to be fine. Let's leave you behind. Let's throw these guys in here just to make this an overwhelming victory. This one guy can come over here. You can go to Brussels. What happened to the UK? The personal union between the Dutch and the British has been re-established. So technically the Entente is really the Dutch Empire, but it kind of breaks focuses to not have Canada in charge, so Canada's in charge. And yeah, this is technically the Third World War. The Third Internationale were annihilated by the Dutch blockades. There's a reason my submarines are so feared. Ooh, I lost a few. That's not good. So again, ancient. I think those cruisers might even be pre-Weltkrieg. 
fact, I can check. I still have some. Uh, you are. Weld Creek, and then two improved. So, yes, I had three Weld Creek cruisers. 1919 model. No, probably even earlier than that. An expeditionary force from Portugal. Absolutely. Thank you. See, those five submarines killed ten cruisers, despite the fact that they've got 22 destroyers trying to defend them. Not against Helfrich, you don't. Thirteen convoys. How many has Germany got? About 300. And Brazil? About 220. And me? 994. Yeah, we're doing rather better in terms of convoys. My escort ships have been doing an amazing job. Considering, like, they have complete superiority out here, I'm still running these escorts. Not to mention the submarines. Oh, no, I lost one. Interwar submarine. I think that's one of my... That's the last of my tier 3s. But we are building tier... No, last of my tier 2s. But we are bringing in tier 4s. So it's fine. No, pre-wheel. Welsh Creek is tier 1. Welsh Creek is 2. Improved is 3. So it was a tier 3. I think I do still have a tier 2. There was a 3. Four. Or maybe it was the two. The tier threes are improved, so yeah, it was the tier two. Great, Commandant. How are the submarines equipped? I can show you. The Helfrich submarine have got three sets of tier 2 torpedoes, which I might actually be able to upgrade now. Nope, tier 2 is still the maximum. Snorkels, basic snorkels, and then tier 4 engine. The main thing is the engine, they're actually relatively quick. And of course they're a level 4 hull. I mean the submarines are a bit eh. The real killer for the submarine fleet is the guy who's leading them, Helfrich. That's not Helfrich, that's Helfrich. Helfrich is a level 7 with 7 attack, 6 defense, 4... Maneuver and four positioning. He's a seawall fleet protector, blockade runner, superior tactician, silent hunter, torpedo expert, loading drill master, and a lone wolf. He is an extremely strong submarine commander. And I love the fact that he got a uh, fleet protector because he keeps on fighting so many fleet protecting ships. No, it's because he's the highest ranking admiral, so whenever there's a destroyer battle in an SC zone where he's active, he takes command, and because it's only the escorts running, he's become a fleet protector because of that. That's a submarine god. Yeah, I know. He's even better in vanilla. That's like his, with his base stats. In vanilla, you've got another focus, which can give him even more skills. I think I had him as a level 10 attack in my Dutch game in vanilla. Like, he is just ridiculously strong. Man power. Oh, no divisions training. Yeah, I know that. Threaded another needle. That's a lot of ships trying to protect against my submarines. Ah, now their submarines are starting to hit me up here. Noted. Uh, well, in that case, I can just go, do not sail here. Nor here, because I can't protect you. 